Right now is just a great time to go outside and, and look up at the at the night sky. Um, we have a couple of things up there. In particular, you know, first of all, because it's because it's winter, the sun is setting a little earlier for us in the northern hemisphere. It means longer nighttime sky. And uh, toward the west, right now, as you as you look out there, you're going to see Venus right after sunset. It can sometimes be you know, really glowingly bright. And uh, for the next couple of days, you're going to have Venus there, and you're also going to have the crescent moon which is passing it. And the combination of Venus and the crescent moon in the sky just makes for a really, uh, you know, really remarkable and really beautiful sight. Religious texts of the time give reports of a star which guided uh, the prophets and religious philosophers uh, at the time. And what they reported is they had a star which is rising in the east and this guided the, the um, prophets and travelers to the south. We think these observations were, they were observing something very real in the sky, which they could see and which other people on Earth could see at the same time. So about four years ago, we had a situation where Jupiter and Saturn, from our standpoint, looked like they were passing each other in the sky. And so we had what was called the Great Conjunction, 2020. And so you could see Jupiter and Saturn, the uh, two very, very uh, uh, bright and highly visible planets passing each other in the sky. What we have uh, this year is Venus being passed by the moon. So it's not the same, this, is, this happens more frequently. Uh, it's not the same phenomenon, but it's gonna be totally beautiful because you have really bright Venus there and you have this beautiful crescent moon and they're passing, uh, the moon is gonna be passing right past Venus. One of the great things about looking at the sky, you don't need anything fancy to see these. So if you have binoculars or telescopes, you can see uh, more details on the moon and on the planets. But really all you need to do to go out and see them is just go outside, uh, look up, and they're very bright. And you'll be able to see the moon, you'll be able to see Venus, you'll be able to see Jupiter. And then as you get further over to the east, you can actually see Saturn. And in the morning, you can see Mercury.